You guys, we got Ava home. She's the most amazing bird ever. She was so quiet on the drive, which is a little nerve wracking with a bird. Um, it kind of made me a bit uncomfortable. She wouldn't eat or drink anything on the way home. And so as soon as she got here, I put this water bowl out for her and she immediately drank. Um, she still hasn't eaten, but I think also just looking at her crop the entire time, she was so full. And her old diet, I say that, with my fingers crossed that it will be actually her old diet, is very, very filling because it has a lot of fillers in it. So I could tell just by her crop and how it looked that she wasn't actually hungry the entire drive. So I'm not worried about it. Um, I am gonna get her on the scale today and just see where we're at, but she's been awesome. She's just hanging out on one of my foraging trees while we are unpacking everything. And so once we kind of are done and settle down a little bit, we still have to go pick up a, one of our trucks and um, we're moving trailers all over the place and just getting everything settled. Um, once all of that calms down, I'm gonna get her on the scale and hang out with her and see if I can get her to eat some dinner later on. Uh, but for now, I'm just kind of gonna let her hang out and take everything in while we're doing everything. I see your little wing twitches. You're so cute. What you doing, Ava? Just a little unsure. Hey, girl. Hi, girl. How's it going? You doing okay? Doing okay. She's just kind of taking it all in for now. We're rushing all around doing all sorts of things. <laughs> So, so far I've had Ava on a couple of the different trees in our house and I just decided to bring her outside because it's really nice. Dave's moving trailers around over here so I kind of thought it'd be good for her to see stuff going on. So far she's taken everything great. Here's a quick desensitization tip for all of you to use with your birds. Try feeding your bird in new places because food not only brings comfort but it also acts as a major distraction. So I handed Ava a pellet and she's slowly eating it and she's actually on her second one now. She seems to be enjoying them. I'm not offering her old pellets or fresh food yet. In the car on the ride here I offered my pellets the entire time and a little bit of fresh seasonal feeding. It didn't really look like she touched it at all. But this is making me really happy. She doesn't seem to have any issue with these pellets. So if I can have this as a starting point, this is great. And then tomorrow morning I plan on introducing my seasonal feeding system for breakfast. So we'll see how she does. And if she refuses it, I'll keep her on this pellet for a while until I can get creative and get her eating the seasonal as well. But this is a great start. I just handed it to her and she started eating it, so. Here's a diet conversion tip for you. Most birds are going to be receptive to either my organic pellets or my seasonal feeding system. One or the other, they usually pick one. So whichever one they're most receptive to, focus on that and put the other one on the back burner. For example, if your bird's been on a really crappy pelleted diet and you just wanna to switch to my organic pellets and the bird's pretty receptive to that, Think about just switching 100% to my organic pellet and then once your bird is eating very consistently and keeping its weight up on that pellet, then think about introducing fresh food. Now you'll have a tool to work with to kind of finish your diet conversion. Sometimes focusing on more than just one thing at a time with diet conversion will really make your head explode and make you feel like you are not making any progress. So just pick one and focus on one or better yet, let your bird pick one and focus on that. So this morning, I'm gonna try taking a shower with Ava. Will you let me put you in here? Wow. Oh, she looks a little uneasy, but that's why I have her spaced furthest away from the water. We'll see how she does. Yeah. 
Some of my bathing tips include taking the bird in the shower with you. I use these suction cup perches that you can see attached to the glass of my shower. I have a couple of them, one of which I can put really far away. The other one might be a little bit closer depending on the bird's comfort level. Now, I choose to shower with the birds because I think it brings a sense of comfort. So if you have the type of relationship that would aid in your bird's comfortability, <laughs> if that's even a word, um, then you should definitely shower with your bird. A cool thing about that is you can really read the body language up close and personally because you are in there with them. And also you can place them rather far away because they're going to get the mist off your back and they don't exactly have to get soaked every time. So don't look at the shower as though they have to be drowned rats at the end. They really just need to get a little bit wet and associate the whole experience positively. Yeah, you did amazing. You're so wet. You did super well. Really proud of you, Ava. Good job. All right, so I brought Ava out to dry off from her shower with a little bit of breakfast. She doesn't seem interested yet. I have my seasonal feeding in here and I added some of the powder of the pellets in her like leftover pellets from yesterday <laughs> to sort of entice her. Hey, Ava. You come try this? You wanna try some? Yum yum? No. I might just leave her with it and come back. You wanna try that? No. Okay.